Hello and welcome back to Omega Vision Studios. And today we have my new mock. I've been working on this for a while, actually. It took me about a week, actually. So you can tell by that it's not that detailed, but uh, it a week is actually pretty long for me. But uh, we'll get right into it. It's a mock on Kashyyyk. I love Kashyyyk mocks. You'll probably find that out. But uh, this is the full mock. You'll probably see me do more Kashyyyk mocks in the future. But as of right now, this is the one. And we'll start off outside, actually. We'll start on top of the base. Here we have our cannon. I designed this cannon, it's pretty cool. Regular control panel, gunner, awesome seat. Oh wait, I've got it turned the wrong way so that it won't. You can adjust it different ways if you want it to point down or point up. And so, okay, just got that on the front, it's pretty, Pretty cool, actually. Anti-aircraft cannon. Or I can adjust it again and it'll point down at all of the attacking droids. Yeah, Commander Bly and his squad. And they're sniping. And coming to join them is Con Commando Captain Gregor. Kind of see him a little. Sneak peek, I haven't done a showcase video yet. But uh, now I'll be here. We have the 501st is coming out to aid the Kashyyyk troopers who have been fighting. And we have my custom fives. Again, another sneak peek. I haven't done a showcase video for any of my custom minifigures. And my custom hard case. And that's them. Rex. And now we get to General Grievous. He's kind of in the middle, in the front of everything. And he's destroying all the Kashyyyk troopers. Everyone that is coming in, you can see they're all being like blown away and destroyed. And that's where the 501st is coming. One guy's got his head chopped off right there. They guys are already dead, flying back, dying, whatever. Now here we've got kind of a slant of mud, and there's some grass in this part. Uh, where the battle droids have made it to the ground, and now they're attacking. And then we have our river. The river slash stream is made up of 1 times 1. Transparent blue Lego studs, and that's a Lego circular brick. Uh, you can find those in Iron Man sets and stuff, and I use about three of those actually in the water. Otherwise, they're on the side here. But the water turned out really good. But now I want you to get a good look at this cliff. really detailed all the way along there super cool and then we get up on top and we have the tan plates and those are actually covered in on the sides so it makes it even cooler and there's commando droids since this is a clone wars battle there are commando droids super battle droids i put in sniper dirty cause I changed the actual sniper droidy cuff from the set, and so it looks like this now, which actually looks a lot more like the movie, or the episodes. And then droids that are dead, droids are dying, droids are still alive. I did a lot of detail actually on all these uh, plants and swamp stuff. Uh, so yeah, I put a little scorpion 
in there. He's kind of camouflaged. It's actually pretty cool. And then a lot of these grass pieces. Alright, so on to the base. Hold on a sec. Gotta remove the roof. Alright, so we'll start off over here. This base, like I said, doesn't have an all, a lot in it. I don't have many tiles, that's why it cuts off there abruptly. Sorry about that, but tiles have never been a big thing with me. They will be, I promise, though. Uh, we have Wookiees, since this is Kashyyyk. I apologize for the lighting. Hold on a sec, let me turn on another light. There, yeah, that's a little brighter, except it's orangish. Uh, you can't... Oh, there we go. There, it fixed a little. Okay. So, we've got the Wookiees. And... That's Chewbacca and Tarful, two Wookiee warriors, and they're just kind of walking through the base. I think they're going to go to the battle since it's their planet, you know, they want to defend it. We've got one of these somewhat rare all-white clone troopers, episode 3 clone troopers, comes, comes in the clone turbo tank, micro fighter. we got some boxes back there. Some guys at the hologram table, that's custom Admiral Yarn. I don't think I'll be doing a showcase video for him, because he's not really painted. He's got a decal that I used to, I used to make these decals, and he's one of the only guys I still have that has the decal. The rest of the guys with decals, I painted them now so that they're like, like twice as good. And command agree and uh makes a new. They're looking at a hologram that shows you the droids, forces versus the base. So you can see that there's a lot of droids coming. And that's because droids are meant to overwhelm. Control panel, remove him. Control panel, it's kinda cool. Now flip this around and on the back wall here we've got oops, what am I doing in? There. On the back wall we have their helmets and blasters. This thing actually comes out really easily. So I can take it out if I need to. And then we go into the barracks. And there's three beds. You can kind of see how the beds go. Two sleeping clones. There's the Obi Wan Clone Wars seasons four, five, and six. I do have the one from Grievous's wheel bike, but I didn't want to use them because this is Clone Wars. There's a hair. Don't you hate it when hair's getting like those? Because this is Clone Wars, so I put him in there. This is a little thing. If you really wanted to, you could take these blue one times one studs and make it look like there's water on there. Or put it there so it looks like water's pouring out. But that's mostly there. Sink. It's kind of a like advanced sink, you know. He's washing his hands. Cause in here is their bathroom. Two toilets. I'm actually kind of proud of these toilets. They look pretty sweet. Well, toilets don't look like sweet, but they're actually pretty good. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. This one is this is what the toilet looks like it's pretty easy to make you put one of these upside down on one of these pieces and then there's the flusher and that kind of binds the little gap there together 
The other one, the reason I wasn't going to show it to you is because I ran out of some pieces. So I kind of had to use some other ones. But on these little tables, there's like a little table piece. And then this is the toilet paper holder that would be on the wall. You got your toilet paper. And then you just uh, slide it on and it hangs out like that. So there's a roll for each toilet. That's, oh wait, I forgot to show this one. There's that, he's monitoring the shields. Okay, sorry for that little jump, but uh, that's pretty much all for the base. Except I will show you this outside. There's windows that look into the barracks. You can see Obi-Wan, you can see clones sleeping. And that's actually kind of a, it's somewhat snot because it's not straight up. And there aren't any studs on top. It's literally just resting. It could fall all the way in if it is resting there due to friction of pushing in. Literally, that's all that's keeping it. The doorway is a little bit small. Clones barely fit through. You can see right there. Uh, but I like this detailed outside right here with all these slants and stuff. It's pretty cool. Same on this side. The window's looking at this window and all them on the hologram table and some boxes. And that's the same snot thing. Uh, put the roof back on. And again, this is just to show you what uh, my mocks have a potential of being. I mean, this is a pretty good mock if I do say so myself. And I will be making more mocks as it says in my channel description. I know it says that I possibly will do Marvel mocks or Star Wars mocks and stuff. I probably will be doing Marvel mocks and Star Wars mocks and maybe Lord of the Rings mocks and possibly Lord of the Rings um, stop motions. So uh, my channel is not all Star Wars, but it's kind of primarily Star Wars. At the moment, it won't be because uh, right now I kind of want to do some of the Marvel or Lord of the Rings stuff, but uh, generally my main theme is Star Wars. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, give a like down below and comment and subscribe. Thanks, this is Cole with Omega Vision Studios again.